what's up? It's your boy, the Great Patriot here, DGP, back again with another episode of Patriot Keys. And yes, in this video right here, we want to talk about a little bit more on the Earl Tom situation. I talked about this video about two, three days ago. And again, it's been doing great. So again, be sure to continue to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Everything. Hold on real quick. Subscribe to the channel. There we go. Got to get that right. Subscribe to the channel, man. Leave a like on the video, man. And uh, let's get into it, man. So if you missed the video, I'll leave a link down below in the description. But I basically talked about the premise, the idea of the whole Earl Thomas situation. And now... You know, kind of getting a little bit more complicated. Not really. It's kind of getting a little bit more complicated. Uh, shout out to Ian Rappaport, you know, one of the, you know, top NFL insiders uh, from NFL Network when it comes to breaking news. He was on the Pat McAfee show today, and he said this. The weird thing is the, the money is a weird thing, right? Because let's say he just got cut and he was guaranteed $10 million. No one's going to pay him more than $10 million, So that money's offset. So basically, someone would sign him for the minimum, and then Baltimore would pay the rest, the other $9 million. And that would be it. So it would be almost no negotiation. He would just make the minimum and sign somewhere great. We do not know if that money is guaranteed because Baltimore is contesting. He's filing a grievance. They're fighting. So, like, what actually is the salary? And the answer is I have no idea. So that actually makes it really complicated. But we're not going to find out till probably next offseason. So teams are going to have to – negotiate with him not knowing whether or not the 10 million is offset or not it makes it hard he's going to the patriots how huh? they're going to pay him nothing cam newton approach yeah that's uh... i mean at with the pay i don't i've not specifically heard the patriots are in the mix um who have you heard but with the patriots that could literally be anything with ian Rappaport saying that and everything and kind of letting us know that this situation is kind of hard to negotiate with teams as you know jerry jones uh, my sorry mike mccarthy the head coach came out and said the cowboys are interested jerry jones followed that up with like a day or two later said well we still have somewhat interest in it you know what i'm saying but according to ian Rappaport, he's saying the cowboys don't have interest but who knows we'll see uh, as you saw in the clip, the biggest issue with this whole Earl Tom situation is what the contract is going to look like. Now, he's due $10 million from the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, with the whole conduct detrimental to the team, you they can potentially, potentially, it's not guaranteed, but potentially get out of paying him that $10 million. So where does that leave us? If, according from Ian's interview with Pat and just looking around things, how the landscape are, if teams want to sign Earl, they have to kind of figure out if he's going to get that $10 million now because I feel like they're saying if he's going to get the $10 million from Baltimore, he'll sign a vet minimum deal. He'll sign a minimum or whatever because he's already getting $10 million from Baltimore. If that's not the case, though, then that comes into, okay, are we going to do a one-year deal with Earl, which most likely will be, or our team's going to have to do a two-year deal made for $20 mil and work the guarantee numbers out and stuff like that because I'm pretty sure he wants to at least get that $10 million that he was due this year. If it's not from Baltimore, it's got to be for somewhere else. Um, so where does that lead to Patriots? Uh, no really news has came out about us real true interest in it. As Ian Rappaport said, he hasn't heard anything, but when it comes to the Patriots, you don't hear nothing. You, that, that doesn't mean nothing. They, they, that means that they could be interested. could mean that they're not interested. Let me know your thoughts down below. Should we sign a vet men or do like one year, $10 million, or should we sign them at all? But this is your boy DGP. I'll have another video up either today or after talking about the whole Cam News situation. That'll be it, y'all. Like, subscribe, comment. Catch you next time, y'all. Peace.